Hiya folks, it's Thor. <laughs> Thanks for joining me for another shave. Today we have Mandarin Orangesicle by Oleo Soapworks. Uh, this is actually a precursor to uh, what they currently have, which is uh, Morir Soñando, and that is a um, orange creamsicle scent. Uh, so currently this one's available on their website, and that's in the canard base. Uh, the one I have is in a very limited uh, tallow base. Uh, and by very limited, I mean extremely very limited. Uh, from what I understand, one tub of this was made uh, for a customer at a special request. And two additional tubs were made, which were then sold, one of which I bought. So... Uh, I think there's only three of these out there in the entire world, uh, of which I have one. And this is one of my absolute favorite soaps. So we're just going to do a nice little load here. some of that excess off. Just rub it on the face as a little pre-shave. Rinse out the tub here and make a mess. Nope, we're gonna set that to dry. Okay, so we're gonna Get right into a lather today. Don't want to waste much time. I uh, have about 24 hours growth. Uh, I shaved yesterday uh, on my channel here with a straight razor for the first time on the channel. And uh, <laughs> had a bunch of bloopers. So I hope today is going to be a little bit smoother for us. Hopefully no dropped uh, video feed, no cuts, no edits. <laughs> we'll see if we can keep it to that. And just get to agitating here. Yeah, it's an awesome scent. Wow, really reminds me of like, the ice cream man going through the neighborhood and uh, again a push pop so I don't know if they have those in everybody's area uh, wherever they have ice cream trucks but uh, it's just like it was like a cardboard tube <laughs> with just orange creamsicle ice cream on the inside and you'd have to push it up uh, from the bottom so, the scent on this is spot on to me. The performance is fantastic. Uh, obviously, I'm using a different soap base than most people uh, would have access to, but <coughs> you saw I have the canard base too, so... Um, <coughs> Excuse me, allergies are driving me nuts this past couple days. Um, but as you can see, I bought the canard base and I love that one too. Um, I just am using this one because it is older and just for the novelty of that tallow base. <coughs> Let's call it a throwback. Now that the canard base is back, I, or not back, uh, now that the canard base is out, I don't believe they'll ever kind of switch back to tallow. Uh, and I think that's good for us. I love the canard base, so. All right. I'm getting along here with a nice
voluminous lather. Blowing up nicely here. Getting some nice volume. Just want to make sure it is properly hydrated. We're getting there. Got the lather flying everywhere as usual. Good. All right, I think we're pretty much done, but if I didn't overdo it, it wouldn't be me, so just a teeny tiny bit more water and just smooth that out. Got plenty left over here. In fact, a lot extra coming out of the brush there. So we will set that down for a subsequent pass. And like I said, today we are gonna do another attempt at straight razor shaving. So I picked up two straight razors uh, the other day, shaved with the other one yesterday. And here's today's. I'm not a straight razor connoisseur, so I don't know all the awesome stats and whatnot for the razor. I just saw something I liked at a price point I could afford, and I picked it up. So, uh, again, I straighten it out like this and come up from the bottom. Start. That's good. And again, I'm just still trying to get my groove back. For those of you uh, who do wet shaving, uh, you'll know sometimes it takes a little while to figure out the direction you should do each pass in. So I will refigure that out on my journey with the straight razor. And let's begin. Uh, this is a nice one. Very comfortable. Um, yeah, I, I don't know other descriptors of awesome uh, straight razors, but not getting any drag. Um, really seems to be uh, wide enough. Uh, this way long enough to get a nice swath of growth and one downward pass. Up there in a second we'll see I placed that razor down with a little bit more force not yet but in the meantime first pass down that felt pretty good Ooh. man I haven't used this soap in so long that is incredible slickness Nice, very nice. Okay, so 
so we will check out there. Yep, just a little, whoop. nothing too bad. But uh, when I placed it, I felt it as soon as I put that down. So maybe we'll have blood, but hopefully still no edits and no video cuts. Let's see where that goes for us. All right? Two out of three ain't bad. All right. Uh, one thing I liked about, not liked, one thing I like about Oleo uh, in this base and their current base, and I believe their previous bases, is that it is a nice, thirsty soap. You don't have to worry about adding too much water. In fact, I'd almost say when you think you're done adding water, you could probably still get away with adding just a tad more. It should be good. Uh, when I was starting my journey in wet shaving, uh, one of the beginner mistakes uh, that I kept on hearing about was just not adding enough water to the soap. So I don't know if that's still true or if the new folks on the block get that lesson right out of the gate. Uh, if you don't get that lesson, then uh, perhaps <laughs> you need to add a little bit more uh, water to your lathers as you're creating them. Got a nice elasticity on that little peak there, nice. Okay. And if you hadn't watched yesterday, I'm just gonna do two passes. Okay, that's nice and thick. Usually I prefer a thin, wet, slick lather for my second pass, but I know this is super slick, so I'm not worried about watering it down too much more. Uh, and I'm not going to do very aggressive passes. First pass downward, second pass outward. Okay, and On the neck, we're gonna go down again. First pass on the neck, bottom half was upward, uh, top half was downward. Second pass, it's gonna be downward the whole way. Uh, I'm not looking for a super close shave. I'm not looking. For any miracles, I'm just Sorry, I'm trying to be careful. Uh, I'm just trying to regain my technique. Remain focused on the shave, even though I'm talking to you. And also make sure I don't cut that little cut up uh, any wider. Just moving the blade around in my hand, see if I can get something a little bit more comfortable. I live in New York City. That's traffic. <clears throat> 
So hopefully whoever that impatient person is can move right along. Otherwise, welcome to my life. All right. Nope. And this is how we roll, people. This is how we roll. All right, so third pass down. Rinsed off the blade. Just making sure it's nice and dry, especially around uh, this area. Don't want it to start to rust. And I'm just gonna put it up there in a nice dry place. And we will get to our post shave. So I don't know if any of you other straight razor shavers uh, have this experience. Uh, I don't feel like I get a lot of uh, irritation when I do a straight razor shave, but I get this feeling of uh, It is a rough, it's a rough feeling. Like I know exactly where each individual hair I cut off uh, was for rubbing that blade down. Uh, so it's not uncomfortable, but definitely um, I do feel like I <laughs> put a, bl a blade over my face and uh, was scraping my skin down. So um, not in a bad way, just uh, much more uh, feeling. <laughs> Uh, much more sensory experience when you are uh, shaving with a straight razor uh, for me. So if you are a straight razor shaver and you have experience with DE or vice versa, as long as you uh, have experienced both, I'd really love to hear uh, what you think about that. Uh, and to that end, um, it seems to me personally that the post shave is even more so important during a straight razor shave. Yeah. Awesome. That was our Thayer's Peach Witch Hazel. Okay. Let's dry that down. Wipe down the space. And our brush today was our West Coast Shaving Deranged Edition brush. with blue acrylic and wood. Always reminds me of the ocean. Okay, and to dry off, I'm just kinda shaking the excess out into my bathtub and then giving it a quick once over on the towel like that. Always give a smell. Uh, the scent of the orange just come through, a little bit of the cream, um, but that's neither here nor there. Ah, so we were able to get this shave in a single try. I wanted to say no blood, very little blood, minimal blood. Almost negligible blood, <laughs> but it was still there. So, good news is there's going to be another one of these videos till I can get it uh, to a point where I feel like I got a great shave. Um, I paid attention. <laughs> I didn't cut myself. And uh, then I will be satisfied. Okay, so... Let's look around here. Still feel uh, in this direction towards the goatee. This is my, right here, this is my truest against the grain. Seems like the hair grows this way, even though what it does is kind of grow that way. Uh, so maybe in the upcoming shaves, I will start to come in a little bit, but every, everything in time, people. So, we will close up today, as we normally do, with our Clubman Panade.
Goes well with everything, in my opinion. I like it for the scent. Woo! Whoa! Okay. Feedback today? The whole face. Uh, that rough feeling that I was saying, um, I should have focused a little bit more on my pre-shave routine. Uh, not sure if you guys are familiar with Jill over at She Shaves with Jill. Just watched a video of hers yesterday. <coughs> Jill always has a great pre-shave routine, whether it's using some of the extra soap. Uh, she's got all sorts of pre-shave uh, creams. Uh, She's got the cube, just <laughs> I'm looking around at the things that I have that I don't use, but uh, she's really thorough. Uh, check her out uh, if you haven't done so already. Uh, but yeah, I should have focused a little bit more on that pre-shave. I actually let her know yesterday that I need to focus a little bit more on my pre-shave routine. Maybe I will learn my lesson next time. What do you think? We'll see. Um, but cool down a lot. Slight irritation here, not bad. Uh, the cut's right, right here, if you can still see that. The irritation is right along there. So, uh, no worries, super enjoyable shave, made even more enjoyable by spending it with you all. So thank you so much for joining me. Our shave is concluded. I hope to see you next time. And until then, don't forget, be generous.